Hello, everybody, and welcome once again to Be Patient, Be Present, Be Joyful, the weekly audio blog by yours truly, Ryan M. Stanley. Uh, today is a very special episode. Uh, we're actually recording this episode on Father's Day 2018. Uh, I think today's the 18th, maybe the 17th of June. Uh, and I have a guest today. This is my first guest of the Be Patient, Be Present, Be Joyful audio blog slash podcast. Uh, and that guest today is another Ryan Stanley, but Ryan D. Stanley. He's my son. And uh, Ryan, welcome to the welcome to the interview. Thank you. Got to speak up loud so everybody can hear you, okay? Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks for being here. So the reason I asked you to be here today is because it's a Father's Day podcast, and I would love to get your opinion on fathers. What do you like most about having a dad? Um... Um... They spend time with you sometimes, mm -hmm. and and they can take you on really fun rides. That's true. Like what? What kind of a ride? Like water slides. Yep. Roller coasters and other and other stuff. Yeah. So why is it? What do you think is important about the 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 relationship between a father and his children? You could just make something up. What do you think? If you had to answer that question, what would you think it would be would be the answers? Wait, what was the question? Like what what's good about a relationship between a dad and his kids? Um they love each other. Yeah. Why is that important? Um because your family. Yeah, but why is it important to love each other? Just in general. Come up with an answer. Doesn't matter, doesn't have to be the right answer. Mm. I honestly have no idea. No idea. Well, I would think it's important to love each other, especially as a parent. Watch your feet, please, because it's near the microphone. Um, it's, it's important to love each other as a parent because that's your job, right? What do I, what do, what do I always tell you is your number one job? Um, to protect Aiden. Yep, protect Aiden, so protect your brother. Please stop. Um, number one job is to protect your brother, so my number one job as a dad is to protect you. And sometimes I protect you by being a great dad. Sometimes I protect you by taking care of myself and make sure that I'm healthy mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. Um, so there's a lot of different ways for us to do that. Um, tell me a little bit more. What else do you think is important about being a dad? Um, to spend time with your family absolutely so when you're a dad what is going to be your best uh what's going to be your number one rule as a dad you think um be a good listener that is awesome yeah because if you're listening even as a dad then you're hearing what's going on and you're able to teach and learn at the same time right it's actually my favorite thing about being a dad, um, I think, is because it allows me to always, since the day you were born, Ryan, I've always been teaching and learning every time I spend time with you. Right now I'm learning what an awesome uh, person you are in front of a microphone. You're really, really good. You've got some good confidence. You've got a good voice. Uh, and you are you know what you want to say, and that, that's pretty huge. Um, so what do you say to anybody out there who doesn't have a dad? but maybe did have a dad, but misses them? Um. Nothing's coming up for you? Nope. All right. What do you say out there to someone who is not getting along with their dad right now? Um. Just spend a bit more time with them and try to work it out. Yeah, that makes sense. So communicate the challenges, right? And ask questions and say what's going on. How can we make this better? This this relationship is important to us. And so there's an opportunity for us to kind of talk about what's bothering us and decide whether we want to be happy or you want to be right. <laughs> right? Because sometimes people are so caught up in being right that they could care less if they're happy or not. Mm -hmm. um, what is your favorite part about having me as your dad? Mm. You sometimes let me go on 
on water slides by myself. That's true. We do sometimes. We try to try to push past our comfort zones, right? Push, stretch our limits a little bit. Mm -hmm. What do you think is the thing that you like least about me as a dad? What can I? What's my biggest opportunity for growth and improvement? How could I be a better dad? Try not to yell as much. Yeah, I do yell a lot. You think? Well, not all the time, but mostly sometimes. Yeah. What what were the things that I yell at you about? Um, be respectful. Yep. And be a good listener. Yep. It's true, Ryan, and we've talked about that as well, right? Like, there's opportunities for me to not necessarily yell, but mm -hmm. I can always try to lower my voice, but also get the same point across. Mm -hmm. and what do we talk about? That? What do we call that in the house? It's, it's a red flag. Like, as soon as the red flag is being raised, or voice is getting red. higher. What's that? Nothing. No, I heard you. You said, or what? Or code red. Yeah, or code red. Like, hey, let's not let's not have a code red. We don't want anybody yelling, right? That's one of my favorite new rules so far this year. Um, all right, cool. So less yelling. What else? How's like if we were if you and I were going to meet next year on uh, Father's Day and have this same podcast, what would you like to be different? Um, I've. Absolutely no clue. Yeah, that's a big one for a seven-year-old. So, is there anything else that you want me to do different as a dad besides less yelling? Mm. Try to try to spend a bit more time with us. Okay, that makes sense. I do work on a lot of different stuff, don't I? Yeah. But that's fun. That's how I create. Like when you get to play baseball and kickball and when you are out building in the dirt, the dirt pile or in the sandbox, like that's you making stuff. And a lot of the time the way I make stuff is I make businesses and I create uh, content for like the internet. Um, but I would say, well, you know, we do spend quite a bit of time together. I'm with you every morning. We have breakfast together every morning, right? Yeah. And I get you off the bus every day and we go swimming and we play badminton. Sometimes. That's true. And I go to all your baseball practices when I can. Well, no more baseball practices. I know. Baseball is over. Um, all right. Well, listen. Let's let's wrap this up. If you could leave one message for all of our listeners out there, and it can be about anything you want. Like if you could l just please stop kicking this part. Thanks. If you could leave one message for everybody out there, what would it be? Mm, have a happy Father's Day. Have a happy Father's Day? Mm -hmm. What about for people who are listening to this just and it's not Father's Day? What, or people who aren't fathers? What's, what's a good message for them? Um, be happy. Awesome. Why? Um, Why is happiness important? Um, so so um, your temper can stay low. Yeah. And if you have a low temper... Then how does your life play out? Good. Yeah. So what I heard you say was, you know, if you're getting stressed or, or you're angry, um, to be patient, right? Wait, and things are going to come. Be mm -hmm. present, like you're here right now. And then if you're here, you might as well be joyful or happy, right? Mm-hmm. I love it. There you have it. Genius. Ryan D. Stanley. Whoop. Just fell off the back of his chair. And he's now lying on the ground. That's I'm how not. <laughs> That's how we're going to end it today, everybody. Thank you for joining us uh, for this unique and special episode of Be Patient, Be Present, Be Joyful, the Father's Day episode. Uh, if you want to follow me on Facebook, check me out at facebook.com slash rms.life.coach. Oh, if you want to find me on Instagram, I'm at rms underscore, R I'm sorry, Instagram, oh. rms underscore Ryan Stanley. And Twitter is also RMS underscore Ryan Stanley. Hope you're awesome. All you fathers out there, um, thanks for being you. It's the most important job there is, in my opinion, on the day like today. And uh, for all of you, you that have fathers out there, go give them a hug. Or give them a high five. Or call them and tell them you love them. Or don't. It doesn't matter. See you soon.